stream plan for you all today. What we're going to be doing is <laughs> we're going to be starting with this cake that I've, I've uh, made a few times around already. You might have seen it earlier on my stream, probably about a couple, uh, nine, ten months ago. It's a sort of psychedelic rainbow looking cake with lots of like colors in it, psychedelic and swirly and marbly and trippy looking. Um, and the reason I'm making this today is because I have to do a compulsory pride themed cake or event. Um, so I wasn't planning on doing anything pli uh, pride themed. Uh, but then I got a letter from the uh, LGBT council. I don't know if you know, but there is one. There's basically uh, these group of elders, just like in any kind of superhero movie or super like 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 space Bro, movie. Oh, yeah, like, -K -I -N -G -T -O -N -R -O -O -V -V. Oh, hi, me Barry. Hi, how's it going? Hi, hi, uh, hi, everyone. Give love, lots of love and hype in the chat to meet Barry. She's my sister. Love her or your, or your band. So there is this LGBT council that sits on really high thrones in a big circle deciding cosmic matters. And so uh, they heard, they heard a disturbance in the force that I wasn't going to do anything pride themed. They thought that, that was an aberration of my contract. Um, so they sent me a letter, a very strongly worded letter, saying that if they didn't uh, see a stream uh, LGBT themed, that I would get my card revoked. Yeah. So let's get on with my contractually obligated uh, cake. We're going to have so much fun doing this. So much fun. All right, so I'm going to push my hair on my face, get my hands clean and washed, and we're going to start on today's cake. A marble cake is really, really quite simple. You can do it with almost anything. Um, I've seen a lot of people do chocolate marble cakes, where they, what they do is make two different batters, a chocolate and a vanilla, and they blob the two together and then swirl them around, and that's a good way to do it, I suppose. Um, but what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be making a vanilla cake and then kind of dyeing it different colors because that's how it works. Let's see. Hi, Dylan. Hi, Mr. Green Thunder. Hi, Meatberry. Hi, Azathoth Cult. Hi, uh, hi, Kelly Cat. How are you all today? How was your day? Tell me all about your Thursday. It's Thursday, everyone. We're almost there. We're almost to the end of the week. Um, personally, it's been a pretty dull week. It's just another average week. You know, things are weird. Things are weird at work. Things are, things are things. But uh, I've had a, such a nice time streaming this week. I'm so happy that compared to last week, the week before that, and the week before that, my streams have actually been relatively decent. Um, in, in terms of good streams, I haven't had many in a while. But I can safely say now that this week has gone fairly well. So we have a lot to cover. I'm going to grab a few ingredients that we need to start off with. The first thing first is some butter. I got one stick of butter here, or eight tablespoons, or half a cup of butter. I've got myself my sugar canister. Uh, let's see. I went to Red Robin today and celebrated my dad's 50th birthday. Wow, Mr. Green Thunder, that's cool. Congratulations, uh, 50 is an age everyone should strive to reach. Um, yeah, it's sad some people don't, but I'm happy that your father has. Congratulations. I'm going to grab my flour. And we're going to discuss what today's recipe entails. It's pretty simple. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, straightforward. But the way it works, let's see. I worked, but not as not a bad day. Oh, that's good. At least it wasn't a bad day. I don't like work days that are bad days. Usually, because that means that something went wrong. If you can't tell, if you haven't learned as well from this last week, you've seen. Cancel. I just melt my butter. Let's see. I'll do a. Time to defrost for nine seconds. If I ever have a bad day, it's usually because I do something wrong, and usually because things start falling apart and I don't give my 100% best, as you can probably tell by all the miserable streams I've had the last few weeks. There we go, the nice soft butter. I'm going to start my oven at 350. Loverly. And then I'm going to switch over and put everything in my sand mixer. So. This is basically what happens when you make a very simple cake. It's not too fancy, not too expensive or too difficult to make. All you need is some basic cake ingredients and some general knowledge of how cake works. Ideally, the way you'd make a cake is you start off with this sort of thing we call the creaming method. There are millions of ways to make cakes, and there are a couple different ways to do specific cakes. However, the majority fall under this category that I just mentioned, the creaming method, and I want to kind of highlight that. 
what that means is, you've probably seen me do it a million times, and it seems kind of innocuous, but it's a very skillful system. You start with your fat, your base fat, and then you add in your sugar and things you want to dissolve. The reason you add the sugar in at the beginning is because you want it to dissolve into your cake by the time it reaches the oven. If it doesn't, you might have grainy, chewy, crystallized cake. That's no bueno. So you want to also make sure that your sugar is evenly distributed throughout the whole cake. So what we do is we add the sugar in at the beginning because it's going to get the most mixing and everything will be evenly distributed. So to my four ounces of butter, that's four ounces, eight tablespoons, half a cup, I'm going to add six ounces or three quarters of a cup of sugar. I grab some general measuring utensils and my pig spatula. Hmm. Oof. So what I'm going to be doing today as well is I'm going to be showing you how to make a really simple and very, very tasty frosting that is great for baking. So the idea behind a buttercream frosting is that it uses butter and milk and powdered sugar to get this sort of whipped, light consistency. Um, but if you've never tried making buttercream before, you'll notice that sometimes it can sweat. Uh, sweating doesn't mean that it's literally sweating. It just means that there is condensation on it and it can get kind of runny. So what we're going to be doing is making a very special kind of buttercream, similar to the kinds that they use in, uh, what are they called? In commercial baking environments. So like think your local big box store uh, makes cakes by the dozen. You can order one and pick one up. Um, that kind of frosting is sort of a bit more crunchy, I want to say. It crystallizes very nicely. I'll show you why that happens. Um, it's a bit softer and lighter and paler. And it doesn't have quite the buttery flavor that like homemade buttercream has. The reason is that is because we're going to be substituting half of the fat in it for shortening. Shortening does not contain water like butter does. It does not contain milk solids. And it holds itself better under heat. Fidget spinner cookies. I saw that too. Oh my gosh. We've reached peak fidget spinner. Where's my spidget spinner? Spidget spinner. Spidget. Oh, I don't have it. Oh well. There it is. Hold up. I gotta get my spidget finner. Now that you said it, I gotta get it. Oh. And also, we're gonna be decorating this cake with some uh, Skittles. I wanted to get M&Ms, but then I remembered M&Ms don't have all the rainbow. These do. And um, I don't know if you guys noticed, but for Pride Week month, I don't want to. I don't know why I want to say week. Uh, for month, they are going. Uh, Skittles is g uh, selling white Skittles, just completely uncolored Skittles. And the reason is that they should only be focusing on one rainbow, and so they've given up theirs. And I thought that was a wonderful gesture, but then I also saw on Twitter a bunch of people tearing it down for being racist, and I'm like, why is that racist? Skittles aren't a race. Blue is not a race. So <laughs> there's that. People are weird. It's like you can't please anyone nowadays. You don't have to please yourself. So that's my baking tin advice today. Only worry about your happiness or people you care about. Don't try to make everyone happy. Anyway, spidget finner aside, let's get started. I'm going to turn on my mixer to about medium high. I'm going to let this cream together for like five-ish minutes, and I'm going to grab my vanilla from my pantry. I need some vanilla. I need some baking powder, wherever that is. There it is. And some salt. People are weird, I agree. So yeah, I ordered on Amazon a five pound bag of Skittles that are completely white, and I'm very excited. Add in about a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Loverly. And now I'm going to grab my eggs, unlike the last cake. If you can remember far back enough, yesterday we made a, a cake using egg whites as the main leavening agent. Today, the eggs are gonna go directly into the batter. So I've got myself four eggs. Sidget thinner, it's spidget thinner. Four eggs, I got my vanilla. I'm gonna keep that out for my icing later on. I need some flour and I need some milk. So into a big bowl. Whoop. 
I'm gonna grab my sifter for the flour. Helps incorporate a bit more air into it, everything. Also helps prevent any granary weevils from getting into your baked goods. That'll do. I'm gonna leave all these out for the batter later on. All right, let's switch over to the stove cam real quick though. Alrighty, there we go. Sorry for the delay, that's just how it works. Move this baby a little bit more central and bring you over closer. Come closer now. It could be a game trying to decide what flavor Skittle you're about to eat. Do Skittles have different flavors? I just thought they all tasted the same, kind of like Fruit Loops. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is crack in one egg, cleverly. Grab my piggy spatula, scrape the sides of my bowl down. Perfect. Now, I'm gonna let this one egg beat itself in. Do not add another egg until this one is completely added in. And then, while we're focusing on that, I'm going to switch over to my flour. So into this bowl, I'm going to sift one and a half cups, eh, two cups, of cake flour. Got my cake flour here. Cake flour comes in little baggies like this. You are so hot. Not as much as me. I like your self-confidence. It's a bit Megan Trainer for my tastes, but still, I'm happy that you feel that way. Two cups of cake flour. Yes, indeed, piggy spatula all the way. And then, for leavening to make everything nice and light and fluffy, we're gonna use two teaspoons of baking powder. And a quarter of a teaspoon. Yeah, roughly, of salt. Give that a little sieve, make sure everything gets in there. I'm just gonna sieve all this together to get rid of any lumps and bugs and whatever else might be in my batter. Also to help incorporate some lightness into this. And there we go. Push the last bits through. Lovely. Now, switching back over to our batter, you'll see this is what I mean. I don't want to add another egg until it's like this. It's light and soft and creamy, just like that. So, what I'm going to do, reattach it. Scrape my bowl back together again. Add in my next egg. Oops. I like punctured the mucus lining, but not the actual egg itself. Give my hands a little rinse. And now this will get beaten up as well. And do not add another egg until this one is fully incorporated. So how is everyone today? Are we good? Are we bad? Are we good? Are we bad? Are we... 
sort of okay? I hope so, at least. Hmm. Oh, right. One last thing I need to get out, and that is my milk. You need some milk in this batter to make it nice and smooth. So for this batter, I'm going to add in about half a cup to three quarters of a cup of milk. The reason I give a range is because it depends really on the size of your eggs. I'll show you guys exactly what I mean right now, but what the ideal batter should look like. Once we pull everything together, we'll show, I'll show you what an ideal batter is supposed to look like. It's supposed to be able to drop off the spoon quite easily, but depending on the size of your eggs, it might be a bit too thick or a bit too runny. And I'll show you what to do in both instances. Hi, uh, hi Kitty Cosmos, how are you today? I'm doing fantastic, if you're wondering. Uh, we're having such a nice time because I'm contractually obligated to do a gay stream. Drop in the next egg. See how I'm not adding eggs in wh while there's still like streaks of egg unbeaten in? I wait until I've completely added in because this is also going to incorporate lots and lots of air into our batter to make it nice and light. As well as making sure that everything's creamy. So I'm going to pour out the full three quarters of a cup, just in case I might need it. It'll get easier after each egg. See how this is now nice and oven's preheated. It's very light, very soft and creamy like that. Wonderful. Kerplop. Very boring, but this Vietnamese restaurant is hiring, so hopefully I'll become a dishwasher soon. Hopefully it isn't hot as... Vietnamese restaurant? How exciting. Do you like Vietnamese food? Lovely. Ah! You didn't see that. Wash my hands again. Make sure that I have nice, clean hands. No egg germs here. No salmonella. No... chicken fever, or whatever else there is. Avian flu. Bird madness. It's a pho cafe. Ooh. go. What I'm left with is this nice, light, creamy mix. You can see here, it's all very soft and light and very liquid, which is exactly what I want. I don't think I'm going to need too much milk at all. I'm probably just going to stick with the half cup, but we'll see. We'll see. Now then. But cam froze. Uh, I'll usually be able to see it, Kelly Cat, on my, on my OBS, but it looks fine. Oh, okay, good, Kelly Cat. I'm glad you can see again. Oh, the dude on the phone pronounced it pho cafe, and it's pho, isn't it? Or is just he, does he, this, the dude just not know? So I'm going to add in half the flour to start and half my milk. Give that a mix. Tap the sides. Ooh. 
Ooh boy, that looks good. That's a standard cake batter. I'm gonna scrape down everything, make sure that it's all incorporated because sometimes the flour can stick to the sides. But that looks good. Add in the remaining flour, salt, and leavening. And about half more of the milk. So you're reserving about a quarter cup of the milk left over. Give it a mix. Bardstown, RD, uh, Bardston Road. I don't know where that is though. Like you say you dox yourself, but to me that I can't tell if Bards if Bardstown is, is a city in like Rhode Island or if that's Bardstown Road. I think I will need the rest of the milk though. Weird. But however you arrive there, your batter should look like this. It should be soft and light and creamy like this. See how it just gently drops off my beaters like that? Look, watch, see? That's the kind of consistency you want where it just kind of thickly flows off. If you don't get this, if it sluggishly falls off, you need to add a little bit more milk. Usually it depends on the size of your eggs. So I'm using jumbo eggs. If you're using medium sized eggs, you might want to add a bit more milk to get this sort of consistency. Lovely. Mmm. That's delicious. Tastes very delicious. Mm. It's sweet. Not overpoweringly. Blah, 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 blah. Not overpoweringly sweet though. It's got a wonderful flavor from the vanilla extract. It's soft without being weak. And it's light but not absent. You feel me? Let's put these away, clear some space for both my hands, and we can get on with our recipe. I'm gonna move out my mixer for the now, for now, for the now, for now. I'm gonna split my batter into six different bowls so I can color my batter various colors. I need a red layer, a green, a blue, a yellow, orange, purple. Apparently I also need black and brown. We're not going to do that though. So here we go. I got one bowl. Let me just dump out the excess contents of this bowl. I'm going to save myself some dishes by reusing these two bowls. So I really only need four more. One, two. three, and four. All right, so I'll split this into six. I'm gonna take about half a cup, a heaped half cup of mixture. Joby Love Lamb, I'm a newly diagnosed diabetic and I'm only allowed 75 grams of carbohydrates per meal. Do you think you can come up with some ideas for me? That would be amazing. <gasps> you have no idea. Okay, my mother is a uh, diabetic as well. However, um, I got her exercising and eating better, and now she her A1C went from like an 11 point something to like six point something. And her doctor is very proud of her, and I've helped her through all of this. So I would be more than happy to help you, Joby. So I got three down, actually I got four down. I only need two more. I think I did this almost perfect. And the last heaped cup goes in here. And then I'll start blobbing little bits into each one. Until I feel like this has enough. There we go. Wow, that's amazing. Thank you. Yeah, she is so great. 
she's joined this boot camp that I told you guys about. She's hurt her arm though, so we're, we're trying to work on it, but she's been eating super well and she's really careful about what she eats now. And she's followed this lady on Facebook named Mumu Jackson, who helps her with all kinds of cool recipes. And she's doing, she's writing her own book about it now too. She's writing a book. She's writing several books actually. And one of them is about, um, it's like a, it's like a, because one of the largest populations that is at risk of being obese are, well, there's, are uh, obese, yes, but also diabetic specifically. Besides um, Southeast Asians is uh, Hispanics. And so she wanted to write a book about her experience losing weight and her, a bunch of recipes that she's tailored uh, while still being her Mexican food she likes, but at the same time being diabetic friendly. So I could totally pull some of those recipes too. We should do that one stream. Anyway, I got six bowls of batter here. Six bowls of batter and a partridge in a pear tree. I can't wait for another Christmas stream, you guys. Oh my gosh, we're gonna have so much fun. And look at that, I've got six dyes here. The six colors of the pride flag. Hear me? Six colors. I'm gonna start with green. Oh, I forgot how new these were. I ordered these off Amazon recently because um, I was inspired by Candace Gosh. If you don't, don't know who Candace Gosh is, she is probably the best cookie streamer on this website. She comes in every now and again, usually calls me Bakey Boo and then leaves or says she has to, she's in meetings or at work. Um, again, she calls me Bakey Boo or whatever other kind of adorable nickname. Um, usually says something sexual and then leaves. And she's an amazing, amazing streamer. Probably one of the best cookie streamers I know. Her cookies are always amazing. She is so talented. And she's way more organized than I will ever be. What the hell happened to this purple? I haven't even opened this purple, but it's already like exploded. Um, what company makes these again? Good gourmet, uh, good cooking. I need you to answer for this. Was it shipping? Was shipping the problem? Was it improper storage? I didn't see any storage instructions on the package, but this purple seems to have exploded. Um, I'm not upset. I'm just disappointed. That's all. If this was my, if I was wearing like my, my, my like professional chef coat, I would have to go and get that dry cleaned after this because I can handle a few food stains. I can't handle an exploded bottle of purple food coloring on my coat. But yeah, Candace Gosh has all of her stuff organized to a T. She has an entire pin board, like a, like a cork board on her wall, like almost an entire wall dedicated to all of her cookie cutters. She has a tackle box filled with all of her decorating tools. And I want to be like her one day. I want to grow up to be just like Candace. So, um, I'm trying to do that by buying more stuff so I can get my stuff together because I have plenty of piping tools and plenty of decoration stuff. I just always lose them. So what I'm trying to do is get more, I suppose, but at the same time, manage them better so that I don't end up losing them. Also, so that one probably was overfilled. That might have been the problem because this... Uh, this uh, purple was like blobbing over the top considering because it was like the, the liquid was like the volume was like at that level uh, like like was like at I keep saying was like at the liquid volume was right up to the edge whereas this one the orange is down here I feel like that's how it's supposed to be and that this just got overfilled in uh, packaging if that's the case then I again I'm not disappointed I'm not upset just disappointed and then I think the last one I have to open is the yellow. Yep. Plop. There we go. Alrighty. Let's get started. Starting with the yellow. Now let's start, I want to go through the rainbow so, so I don't get confused. <laughs> start with the red. I'm going to drop in a few drops of red. Put it over here so I don't forget. I'm going to fold this together. 
and make some deep saturated red color. Just folding everything together. There we go. Nice, it's pretty. So I'll set this aside. Let's move on to the yellow. No, you orange, red, orange. I know my colors. Oh, if you hear me hiccup or burp at all during the stream, I'm sorry. Um, I ate one of my turkey burgers like half an hour before my stream started because I was super, super hungry. I hadn't eaten anything since like six this morning. And I was like, you know what sounds really good right now? A turkey burger. So I ate a turkey burger. Not with, a, with any bread, I just literally ate the turkey patty. There we go, mix all this together. And now I've got a nice orange color. <gasps> Kelly Cat, thank you for helping me remember which color I'm on. There's my orange. I need my yellow. The lello can go in here. Pop it open. Drip it in. Ooh, it's like jelly. See that? Grab another spoon. Mix it all together, and what you'll be left with is a nice, bright, lemony yellow. Perfect. Ta-da! Next up, the cooler colors. Green. Oh, got a little too excited there. Mix all that together. I love the combination of green and white. It's a beautiful combination. That's what I'm seeing right now. See that? I've got this nice sort of bright vibrant green color, which is good. Like a boss, thank you. Thank you, these are beautiful colors. I spent, what, $5 on these bottles? Thanks to Amazon Prime, oh wait. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. First, Bacon says he knows the colors, and then he just forgets. Oh my gosh, blue is my favorite color in the world, if you guys don't know. Like this, this sort of swirly look. Is like my life. I love deep, rich blue color. It's so calming. That's a nice blue, thank you. I do, I agree, this is a beautiful blue. I love blue so much. Everything I own is blue or some kind of derivative of blue, except for my pants today. And now purple. that in and once again we're left with edgy emo mom this isn't a phase I'm goth now mom I'm gonna go listen to asking Alexandria I'm gonna go follow them on their, their ten city tour mom I need to listen to blood on the dance floor now mom I need to focus on my art right now purple like that all right I'm gonna Rinse my hands off of all their dye. 
and we can begin now preparing our, can, our pans. I want to know why I said cans. Today we're going to be using two... Where are they? <gasps> How rude. Someone moved my pans again. Hold the phone. We're going to go on a tour of Bakington Tower. Ah, 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 ah. Okay, so um, instinctively I don't hit the, because uh, it, it's just easier, it's closer to the door than the other one. To where I keep all my excess stuff on a big utility rack. There is a, there's two switches. One is a light switch, and the other one is a light switch that has a motion detector, so that way I can save energy. And I instinctively always hit the motion detector, and that time I hit it, but it was already on. So by the time I, I hit it, not knowing it was already on, so when I did that, it came on for a second and then turned back off, and I was in the middle of my pitch, my pitch black, like I could not see it in front of my own nose. Um, garage, and I was terrified, if you heard that. I'm sorry. I didn't like that. I don't, I'm, I'm deathly afraid of the dark. Anyway, two uh, nine-inch cake pans. I think these are actually eight-inch cake pans. Yeah, two 8-inch cake pans. I'm going to grease these and line these with a little bit of flour so that way they have a nice crumb coat. Very simple stuff. Grab some flour. And some spray. Again, never use the chemical spray. Only ever use, if you're going to use a spray, use a spray that is basically just oil. Now, it's quite messy on my kitchen. It soon won't be. Give these a good spray, kind of tag them up. There we go. I got myself two nicely sprayed pans. I'm going to what was that? That wasn't even language. I'm going to throw some flour into these. Give them a little knock around. I'm going to just give them a little tap tap. Go all the way around. Oops. Tap the excess into the next one. And you'll get this sort of fluffy, powdery layer that will keep your pans, or pans from sticking to your cake. And there we have it. Look at that. Beautiful. Dump the excess out. Oop. A little more excess. There. And now we're going to assemble this cake. So I think I want to put um, the red and the blue. Nah. Okay, everyone, I need to decide. Should I put the colors in order of cool and warm and then swirl them? Or should I put the colors in randomly? Like each cake has a bit of each color. Do, 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 How much would it cost for me to come over and cook for you for one day? Um, let's see. Um, it depends on the travel. Travel has to be included, so either you get me there or you pay for my travel expenses. Um, and then, so factor that in. And secondly, um, let's see. For a day, my usual pay is about seventeen fifty an hour at my current job. Um, so. What's that times eight hours? Oh, and ingredients are on you. Each cake has each color. All right, I'm whimsical. We can be whimsical. I'm going to just blob in then 
half of each color into each cake. I'll start with purple, going in reverse rainbow order. Blob some of it in. Can they go haphazardly around? Of course, everything is covered. Oh, okay then. Let's see. What's what's one hundred and what's uh what's seventeen fifty times eight then? Plus tip. Oh, and touching's extra. All right. Now the green, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. No, the blue. Bacon can get with it. 140 Okay, $140 a day. And again, touching is extra. I'm going to blob the blue on, again, randomly around. That way we can achieve real randomness. Not XD random rar nuzzles you, but real random. Loverly. Three hundred should cover it. Okay. Where are you at then? Oh yeah, and by the way, touching is uh three hundred is what is it? Not three hundred, it's thirty bucks a minute. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. So now green. I'm going to go around the edges with this one because the edges are looking a little thin. Then through the middle again. And now this one. Touching what? I don't know. It just means what it means. And it's to... <laughs> I love you, hat. What's her name? Uh, I actually don't have a name for it. It's my hat, though. You like it? I got it for $15 after I graduated high school. That's really the story behind that. Red, orange, yellow. Yellow. We're on yellow now, people. And these bowls are getting progressively bigger. I'm going to scrape all this batter off my spoon. Drop the yellow in. It looks a bit like a Mardi Gras cake, actually, because of all these colors at the moment. Blob these in. Lovely. Ooh, this is going to look pretty. I already like it. Hmm. Now orange. We're getting close to the end here. Boys and grills and everything in between. Wipe the excess off. I want to bleed the colors together, but not quite yet. Scrape the excess off of a spoon. Mm. Yummy. I don't know if you know, but cake flour does have a different taste as well. It's what gives cakes their sort of flavor. If you've ever had like boxed cake mix and you're like, what is the flavor in this? The cake uh, flour has its own distinctive flavor. I think it's the packaging. Blob in my orange. And then the red comes next. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Mm. 
<laughs> oh, mailbox. I never knew that. The more you know, knew what? And lastly, the red. I'm going to drop the red in, blob it around. Looks a bit like a, sh like a 90s jacket right now. Rather than a beautiful, vibrant rainbow, but it will in a minute. There we go. And then, with my spatula, what I'm going to do is kind of run the colors together, not completely, but just kind of roughly. And then again, okay, let's switch over to this other camera. Kind of go around a few times, not bleeding it all together. And then once you're happy, I'm going to jiggle these together so they're nice and smooth. And they're going to go into the oven at 350 degrees for about 20 to 25 minutes until they're completely cooked. Mm. Delicious batter, though. This stuff is super good. All right, we got a lot of cleaning up to do and then a lot more stuff to make. So here's how it's going to work. I'm going to clean up all my noise and all my nonsense. I'm going to put all my jelly colorings away. Looks way different on that camera. I know, right? So this camera is not too great. However, Mailbox, I, am getting, I have another one of the camera that you're looking through um, that I'm going to be replacing this camera with. So get excited about that. I'm quite excited about it myself. You won't have to face bamboozlement anymore. We're going to make now a really nice, stiff buttercream icing. This icing is going to be similar, not exactly similar, not exactly the same, but quite similar to the icings used in many commercial baking environments. So think of like your no local big box store that can churn out cakes by the hour. The reason that works is because this batter, not batter, this icing, is a mixture of fats. And so instead of entirely using butter, we're going to be using a mixture of butter and shortening, because the shortening doesn't contain water. Butter does, though. So what we're going to be doing with this is making this batter, this icing, and then we're going to be piping it and squeezing it and applying it onto this cake. So in a way that's going to make it nice and firm, it's going to look pretty and very visually appealing. It's going to handle a bunch of Skittles thrown on top of it and some drizzled icing. I still need this out. Need my beater. So, what have we learned so far? And... Here's the thing, you guys. So diabetic-friendly recipes, yes. I also need to make a stream about that soup that, I, that, uh, that Bookie wanted. Bookie is a great contributor to the, to the stream. Um, so that's two streams. I need my week planned out. So if you've noticed on my Twitter page, at Lord Bakington, follow me on Twitter, I have uh, been putting out menus for the last few weeks. That's because I need to get better in the habit of pre-planning my streams and giving them more thought than just doing whatever crosses my mind and tickles my possums. So what I'm trying to do nowadays is be a bit more diligent about my streams, be a bit more like careful and a bit more thoughtful about what I make. And so I'm trying to plan these things ahead of time. So I need ideas. If you have any ideas for a stream you want to see, be it like a diabetic theme stream or a weird theme stream or rainbow theme stream or really anything, um, I need to know. I would love to find out what you think we should be making on the stream so I can better serve you, considering you all are my audience.
Yeah, exclamation point Twitter doesn't seem to work for many people. I'll do it myself. But yeah, so we've got a lot to do and a lot to cover and a lot of things I want to do. But I also would like to hear what you want to see done. Uh, exclamation point Twitter. Is like Toucan Bot just down or so? Or no, a Toucan Bot posted. Does Toucan Bot just not let, listen anymore? Is the dragon still down? Hmm. Whatever the reason. I would love to hear if you have any uh, potential stream ideas. Nice clean countertops. We can begin making our icing now. All right, so I'm gonna grab my bowl, give it a wipe down. Yeah, it took forever. I don't know what's going on. All right, then. Let's switch back over to this other camera so we can look at our cake icing. So, I'm going to get my bowl again. Ah, get in there. There we go. Now, I'm going to add in one stick or four ounces or half a cup of softened butter. Let's see, time to defrost. I'll do three seconds. I'm also going to grab a stick of shortening. Where is that shortening? Shortening is just solid vegetable fat, for those of you who don't know. It's been hydrogenated, so that way it's nice and firm at room temperature. And I'd love to tell you a little bit about why that happens. You see, fats are created in chains, kind of like chains of, of metal. And hydrogenated means that at the end of each carbon chain, because it's just carbon, 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 attached to each other in a long linear chain. And the more bits and pieces of, of hydrogen you have sticking off to the side, the straighter it can lie and the more it can form into these nice even structures and become solid. Whereas uh, polyunsaturated fat means that it, does, it has a lot of missing hydrogens around it, so it kinks and forms weird things that don't nest very well together, so it stays liquid at room temperature. Are you using cream cheese? Oh, this is a rainbow marble cake. So what we're doing is taking our batter and turning it a bunch of different colors. But hi, JB Hood, how are you doing today? How, how have you been? Let's see. Ooh, Gold Amsel, thank you so much for the auto host. I know you can't hear me, but hi, thank you for the auto host. Guys, do you know who Gold Amsel is? She is the best, like, most positive cooking streamer I have ever met. If you don't, you should follow her, Gold Amsel, one word. Let me just, uh, shout out, no, stop it, autocorrect. Not about out, shout out. Rude. Well, either way, if you like good cooking streams, you should check her out. I know today she was making some kind of pizza. I didn't get to watch her because I was at work. But she's a wonderful person and honestly the most positive person I have met in a while. She's a great cook as well and her kitchen is very pretty. She herself is very pretty if you're into that kind of thing. You know, the lady types. But she is such a wonderful, kind person. Pretty good, man. Just been busy with work, just enjoying a few beers, watching you bake. Oh, that's nice. I'm glad you're having a nice day. Everyone seems to be having a good day today, which makes me happy. She's like the cooking streamer I strive to be. She also does games sometimes, and she does other stuff too. So you should check her out. But to this, I got my one, uh, one stick of the butter, four ounces, half a cup, eight tablespoons, and the same amount, four ounces, of shortening, just plain old vegetable shortening. It's also going to be making this really, really 
pale and beautiful. It's going to be a beautiful stark contrast to the rainbow on the inside. Positive? Yeah. She's such a wonderful, like, positive, upbeat person. Now, I have a secret to make this nice and crusty. You want a nice crusty buttercream because you want it to be able to hold up to heat and hold up to the environment very nicely. So what I'm going to do is add a few secret ingredients to make it just so. The first is a tablespoon of corn syrup or caro syrup or whatever you want to call it. The higher the fructose, the better. Positive HIV positive? No Naropa. About a tablespoon or so should do it. This is going to make it very, very sweet, very lovely. It's going to beat up really nicely. It's have to beat for a while. You see right now it doesn't look like, it sort of looks like an icing, but not quite. I'm going to add in sugar just a little bit at a time. In total, I'm going to add about a pound of sugar. Add a little bit more. You can see it's already starting to beat up quite. We're not even close to the end though, so I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna scrape the sides of my bowl down, make sure that all that butter and shortening at the bottom gets mixed in thoroughly. There we go. Sugar is really unhealthy compared to what? I mean, if you wanna be like that, icing is really unhealthy considering that it's just sugar and butter. Things are getting nice and fluffy. It's also starting to gain a bit of volume, which is good. Adding a bit more. Ooh, getting smoky. I'm gonna check on my cakes. <gasps> They're so cute. Do, 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 do. All right, we're a few minutes in, and you can already tell it's gained quite a bit of volume. It's a lot more than we started out with, and look at how stiff it looks and very fluffy. Mm. Hello, Toucan Bot, right? Right, as the thought cult? Like, what happened, Toucan Bot? Are you mad at me? Did I, did I offend you? Are you, like, taking a nap? Are you taking a resident sleeper? Can I get a resident sleeper in the chat? Can I get a president sleeper as well? A hashtag not my president sleeper? I'm running out of sugar, so I'm going to grab another bag of it. I always keep an auxiliary bag of powdered sugar just in case an emergency like this and start scooping from that. Throw it in. Yeah, not my president sleeper. Turn up the speed again. 
I'm going to add in the very faintest dollop of vanilla. Let's see. It definitely feels firm. Hmm. Hmm. Tasty. We're getting there. I think another scoop of sugar should do. Another heap scoop. We're going to get close to that one pound mark. Yeah, shout out Gold Amsel. And then just when you thought we were done, psych! I'm going to moderate this with about a tablespoon of milk. Or half and half, or cream. That's the cream in buttercream. Ta-da! New finger. Mmm. Tasty. I think you could use just a touch more of this. Start off slow. We have made some really beautiful, stark white, absolutely fluffy. See how soft and fluffy this all is? It's thick. It's sweet. It's delicious. Mmm. Mmm, yummy. Oh, that's good. And it's done. This is going to coat our cake very nicely. Mm. Mm. and my arteries for a while. Mm. This frosting, it's stiff, it's thick, it's not heavy, it's sweet. Ooh, very sweet. And it's going to be great to pipe with because this stuff is smooth, silky, firm, and then when you leave it, it crusts nicely over with sugar, so that way it doesn't sweat and melt in the sunlight. Yeah, thick. We're talking wick from Pokemon Go thick. Not Pokemon Go. Pokemon Sun and Moon. Google wick. Pokemon Sun and Moon. She made bigger splashes than the, than the other quote-unquote hot girl, who is supposed to be the hot one, but in reality, wick is the hot one, I think, if you like that kind of thing, at least. As the health cult, thank you for the 20 bits. You're the best. Now then, I'm going to dump in the rest of my sugar. Here's what I do. I just kind of twist it, put it in the hole, and then just open it up. Let all the sugar fall in. Oof. Oh boy, I'm going to have a mess to clean up after this. Mix it around, make sure it sinks down to all the crevices. And now I got myself some refilled sugar. This is going to go back into my fridge, pantry, not fridge. You don't need to store sugar in the fridge. Tap off the excess, it falls all over. And it can go back in here. Now then, I have to tell you guys what I got right now. 
before the stream, I bought these because I thought, you know, I'm tired of putting them on rough plates and making and my cakes kind of looking a little lopsided. So I went ahead and got some more of these, some little cake discs. Very exciting stuff. Can't wait to use these. I'm also going to break out again uh, for the first time in a while my cake turntable because I don't usually do too many professional cakes anymore. Um, I'm going to get my cake turntable out so we can start decorating this cake once it's baked and cooled. Speaking of which, I'm going to go check on that. Whoo. Perfect. These are perfectly baked. So I'm going to grab them out of the oven. They look so pretty. Cancel. You have to see this. You have to see how this looks. Look at that. Look at all those swirly psychedelic colors. You see that? If I turn it, you'll start tripping out, man. <laughs> man. Woman. Isn't it beautiful? Look at all those beautiful colors. I think it looks great. So we have some more stuff to do before we finish. We're going to make some very delicate drizzly icing. What do you think, actually? I don't know. Should I just stick with the Skittles for the rainbow effect, or should I make an icing, like a drippy icing? I think the Skittles are enough, but at the same time, I need to kill time for a few minutes while these cool. Speaking of which, I'm going to grab some cooling racks, wherever they might be. I'm going to keep turning around my kitchen. Oh my gosh, Kelly! Kelly Cat, thank you so much for the five pies. You're the best. You are the best, less than three. Thank you, Kelly Cat. Thank you so much for the five pies. You're the best. Thank you, everyone who's donated as well. You guys are like keeping me here. Like you're the reason I stay, not because of your money, but because people actually appreciate me. And I really appreciate that, that you're appreciating me. Let's just all appreciate each other. Okay. Thank you so much for the five. Oh, five pies. You're the best. I'm going to set this over there. And I will show you what our cakes look like. They're cooling nicely and shrinking and coming away from the pan. So in one fell swoop, what I'm going to do, set these out. Look over here. Flip it out. Ta-da! It looks a little dull and white because of the crumb coat, but you can see it's soft and springy like that. And it's got this beautiful rainbow effect. Ah! That could have been bad. It's soft and jiggly and absolutely beautiful. So I'll set this over here to cool, away from the heat of the hot ovens. And then once it's cooled down a bit, I can throw these in the freezer. Would that consider them an icebox cake then? We have, are going to have so much fun today, you guys. You have no idea. I'm, even though I moaned and groaned about it, boom. No fear. There is no... I'm going to take a diversion from this. There is no room for fear and timidity in this kitchen. I know I can act like that sometimes. That's only because I try to be uh, understanding of people who might sensibly be scared of certain uh, actions. You can't go in with fear. Your food will sense your fear. No fear, no apologies, no excuses, and no explanations. Everything you make is exactly how it was meant to be. Like that. Mm. Look at how beautiful and springy and spongy and light this is. Kind of looks like the earth with the, the purple or like the continents and then there's the green and the blue. Ooh, earth cake one day for Earth Day. Ooh, Earth Day already passed though. That's too bad.
Hoo boy. What am I going to do now for like 10, 15 minutes? Why don't we take a guess and try to figure out the distribution of the Skittles I bought. I bought this bag of Skittles and I ate a few already because I was hungry. That's the prettiest cake, thank you. I'm gonna dump out my Skittos. I think this is a good representative sample. Maybe I'll get a little bit more. Now then, we need to see how many we're representing here. I'm gonna set a fidget spinner timer and I'll see uh, how many we've got. So I'm gonna move out all the reds. I think it should be pretty fairly even. Get all the reds out. And we'll see which group is the minority in this. That way we can give them the special treatment. Blop, blop, blop. Hey, look at the sad one, it's all broken. Lovely. All right, now I'm gonna switch out all the lemony ones. There we go, all the lemony ones. <gasps> Another red one came out. Now I got three more colors, so I'm gonna take out all the purpley brown ones. I guess brown really is a color in the rainbow, or is that purple? Am I colorblind? Hey, I didn't say you could stop. Almost there. Once I've got these sorted out, we can begin tallying the vote. Who is getting flashbacks now from like middle school when you learned about the scientific method and you had to do a diorama or a, a, a science fair project? And the one they always told you about was the distribution of Skittles or M&Ms or whatever. I definitely remember that one. But that was a bit too childish for me. And I ended up doing it about household cleaners and plants because I loved plants even back then. I'm going to separate out the greens from the orange. I don't think green and orange go very nicely together. Alrighty, so already I can tell that the lemons are going to be in, um, at least somewhat of a minority. So let's count them out. So count with me, everyone. Let's help me not lose count. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty, thirty one, thirty two, thirty three, thirty four, thirty five, thirty six, thirty seven. Thirty seven. Thirty seven greens. Thirty seven, 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 thirty. Not seven thirty, thirty seven. Why don't they have blue Skittles? I know, right? What the heck? Green, 37. Let's try the orange now. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 23, 25, 27, 29. 29, orange. Let's try purple. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-six, twenty-eight. 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 
34, 36, 38, 40. 40, purple. Yellow, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. We can already tell yellow is our minority. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty two, twenty four, twenty six, twenty eight, thirty, thirty two, thirty four, thirty five, thirty five red. <laughs> All right, then. Now I need to tally up how many we've had in total. What does that mean? Let me grab my calculator, my little calculator. So let's see, 35 plus 24 plus, how many was it for purple, 48 or 40? 40 plus 29 plus 37, wasn't it 40? Yes, it was. That means in total we had 165 Skittles here, and the majority Skittle, the purple Skittle, is 40 divided by 165. The majority Skittle makes up 24%, almost a quarter of the Skittles in this sample were purple. That is not fair whatsoever. The minority, the lemon ones, the yellow, made up only 14%. Where is their representation? Yeah, and zero blue. What the hell's with that? Oh, well. Let me check back on my cakes, which are nice and, ooh, they're already really reasonably cool. That's odd. Okay. So I'm going to grab my cakes back now, and we can begin. I'm actually going to throw these in the freezer real quick. But while I'm doing that, I'm going to grab another bowl, and we can melt our jam for our jam center. Because as usual, we need some kind of jammy middle to glue everything together. You can use more icing, but you're going to need a little bit more icing than what you got. So I'm going to grab my freezer. I'm going to throw these into the freezer, into said freezer. Which, where they'll sit for the next 10 minutes. All right then, now, three Bubba 79, uh, 78. Hi, hi, welcome to my stream, I'm Lord Bakington. Um, I need to eat some of these, because they're the, minor the majority. Mm. Mm. How are you today? Good, hopefully you're good. Mm. Mm. Yeah, the fidget spinner is the blue representation. All right. Whoa, Kelly Cat. You're right, they do have different flavors. Mm. I'm going to grab my box of piping tools now. I didn't even notice that. I thought they were like Fruit Loops where they're just all the same flavor. You're good? That's good to hear. Mm. Mm. So, aside from my regular smooth icing, I'm going to pipe some of this onto my cake. I've got myself a piping bag here, nice and clean. 
going to grab a little anchor thingy, drop it in, push it out the end. Then we grab, what do you think? I'm thinking a star tip which should be good for this, a big star tip. Bigger than that, like that. A nice large star tip to give it a little bit of flair. Red is your favorite flavor? Let's see. What is it? Mmm. It's like cherry or something. I like that. That would be a fun game. Okay, now that I think about that, you're right, Kelly Cat. When I get the white Skittles, we're going to have a game where we like, try to guess what flavor it is. Mmm. I'm salivating. I like the green ones. Hmm. All right. I've got myself my nice thick icing. You can see it's really stiff and fluffy. Super fluffy. So I'm going to grab my if I can find it, my icing turntable from my hellhole of a, there it is. I was worried you're going to be like in a box or something. Ah, dark. Ta-da. You might have seen me use this before on a couple of different streams, but this is what I use to decorate cake. See, it's like a spinny thing. I put my cakes on top of it and then I lather them in icing and then I spin it and kind of like decorate it and do stuff with it. It's a lot of fun. I also like to pretend I'm a DJ. Alrighty. I'm gonna grab my jam out of the fridge, so I can slather some of this on. Where is that jam? What's your guys' favorite kind of jam? Mine is definitely strawberry, with raspberry being a close second. But I'm definitely a strawberry boy. So neat, thank you. I appreciate that. It is quite neat. Ooh boy. So, OMG, it's kitchen, which I can't afford. I'm sorry. It's actually, this house wasn't too expensive. The kitchen was the main selling point for me. Isn't it beautiful, though? <laughs> I'm going to grab my strawberry jam. You like strawberry jam, too? I love strawberry jam. Strawberry all the way. I'm going to take a few tablespoons. This not too much, just a few tablespoons. Enough that I can glaze the middle section of my cake. Yummy. I'm gonna melt this in the microwave. About 30 seconds. Now then, I'm gonna grab a palette knife and an offset palette knife. <laughs> palette knives. This one's a regular straight edge palette knife. This is an offset palette spatula thingy. They're good for different things. This one's good for like icing, like the sides and stuff. This one's good for smearing stuff and kind of getting under things. Hair flip less effective with the hat on, okay. How is that? My monkey's all lopsided now. There we go. Got myself some nice liquid jam, a section, a uh, selection of Skittles. And some nice cold cakes. I grab these babies out of the freezer. Oh boy, these definitely are babies. Good cake babies. I want a nice flat surface to decorate, so I'm going to start with one that has its bubbled edge at the bottom. 
Start with the, hey, get off. There we go. I'm going to grab, where's my cake board? Here it is. Put that on. Inch it over into the center on my nice cake board. Rinse my hands off, and we're going to get decorating here, people. I'm going to fidget spin real quick. I thought about this uh, this morning. I was like, I have bubble soap. Why don't I dip my fidget spinner in bubble soap and then spin it, and then go like, and like blow out some bubbles with it? Because it's got these holes in it. But yeah, how was that hair flip after I took my hat off? I'm going to smather some jam on, onto the earth, basically what it looks like I'm doing. Smather the jam onto the earth. Once you get a nice even layer, kind of making sure it doesn't dribble over the edges. This is also going to, one, glue everything together, and two, give it a nice tasty layer in the middle. Oh boy. Make sure you go right up to the edges. And what you'll be left with, I'm going to spin it as I go. Why don't we switch over to the stove cam? What am I doing? You don't want to see me. You want to see cake. You can see I've got this nice jammy cake. What I'm doing is kind of pushing the jam around using the spoon and the spinning action. This is going to bother me. Get off. Ruined. It's been ruined. My cake board has been ruined. Nice. Still slightly warm. So I'm going to grab the next cake. Once again, flip it cooked side down. Press it down in the middle like that so I don't have a big bump in the middle. The reason I also chose this side to put it on the top is that it's not as flaky. The top where the cake was exposed to the heat, to the open heat, is a bit sticky and a bit flaky. So I don't want that flaking off into my cake and making it uh, my icing speckled. So now what I'm going to do is take some of this nice icing, blob it on just a little bit. I'm going to smooth it out. Trying very hard not to. I'm, I'm going to switch over to this one. I ha know how to use this one a bit better. There we go. To rip into my sponge. Don't rip your cake. Make sure you've got a nice, beautiful surface. Kind of push the icing around. Make sure you don't have any hills of icing in any one area. And then as you go around, soon you'll start to get towards the edge. You can start pushing the icing off the edge, letting it fall loosely over the top. I slept by accident, damn it. Oh, I'm sorry, obey the Daleks. Oh, that sucks. I'm sorry, I hate falling asleep by accident. Or when I get a drink at a bar, and then I wake up in like a rest stop somewhere with like one kidney. I hate when that happens too. It's happened to me several occasions. All right, I think we're getting close to the end. What I'm gonna do now is go around, kind of keep my spatula straight, smooth everything out. I'm gonna start smearing it down the sides. What? Yeah. Don't you just hate when that happens? I know I do. What I'm going to do is kind of just sort of tack this icing on. This is where I might want to switch over to this one. Because right now I want to fill in these gaps. And so I'm not trying to smooth it over just yet. I want to make a nice layer of icing, or rather frosting. That's what this is, not icing. Icing denotes something a bit more runny. Around the edges to keep all the jam on the inside. I don't want to work it too hard right now because I don't want the jam to get into my icing. I'm 
pick out any bits of cake that get stuck into your icing. I, I, I know I do too, Kelly Cat. I wish there was easier ways to do it. And I've tried a few of the, the self-proclaimed easier ways and they kind of suck. It really just, you got to muddle through. In the words of George Gershwin, George and Ira rather. Stiff upper lip, stout fella, when the going's rough, pip pip to old man trouble and toodaloo to. Carry on through thick and thin, when you feel you're in the right. Let the fighting spirit win. Fight, 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 fight. Stiff upper lip, stout fella. When you're in a stew. Ah. This is our motto. Keep muddling through. What are some good ways to support Pride Month? Uh, I mean, it really is up to you. Um, what do you consider allyship for Pride? I hate using that word. Personally, I'm not a huge fan of Pride. I think I got all the rights I need out of it, um, and I don't really care anymore. But according to the LGBT Council, I can't be gay um, unless I actively support Pride Month. So I have to make a cake to support Pride Month. See, I'm just kind of picking out the bits of fluffy cake that get broken off. It's a good idea to do that. And then once you've got it generally covered over, we can start smoothing things out because this looks like a hot mess right now. This little corner right here seems to be very difficult. So I'm gonna have to apply the same technique I did to the sides, kind of tack it on roughly. But it really is a matter of patience. You can start to see the edges over here are looking very nice. Just kind of smooth it over gently. Ah, and then every time I seem like I, I feel like I'm starting to get good at this, I rip it again. But you can see around here, it's starting to look quite nice and smooth. It really is just this corner over here that I'm having quite a bit of trouble with. I think this is where the jam overflowed. Again, be diligent about picking out the bits of cake. Um, but I guess if you want to be a support, you pay for like, ooh, hey, you guys, if you, ha if you want to feel virtuous, like you're supporting LGBT people this month, why don't you go over to my esteemed uh, executive producer's channel, M60, M60 underscore is his Twitch channel, and subscribe to him because this whole month, 10% uh, of his subscriber revenue is going towards the uh, Trevor Project. I know it's going to something called the Airy Fund, but they also fund the Trevor Project, so it's eventually going to go back to the Trevor Project. He's done stuff for the Trevor Project in the past, and it's like a suicide prevention hotline and pre uh, suicide prevention stuff for LGBT youth. I personally think it's great because even though I had a rough time, you know, dealing with all that, I didn't have a, as rough of a time as some other people might have, you know, with like really, really rough self hate, like self loathing and whatnot. But, yeah, so my, you know, well, I guess you couldn't call it a coming out story, wasn't as bad as some other people I know. So I guess I'm quite blessed in that regard to have parents that are so supportive, even if they weren't initially. I recall my uh, father being the last one of my parents to find out because I was afraid he'd be more upset than my mother. My mother was quite upset. She cried for a long time. She was so upset because we are very spiritual family and so she was like this is so bad I'm, gonna, I'm so sad for you this is gonna happen because of x y and z and i'm like mom chill and then she was like no no this is ter terrible i'm gonna i'm gonna pray i'm gonna take you to whatever i need to take you to i'm gonna get you whatever medicine i need to get you and i'm pleased to say she's changed since then she's much more understanding and realizes that i didn't choose this i didn't want to disappoint her she's not a, i'm not a disappointment to her but i didn't want to make her sad i didn't want to make anyone sad so I'm glad now that that's over, but I know some people whose stories aren't as happy, they didn't end as happy. 
You're going to sub to M60 soon? Oh, good. Exa that's, that's a good way to support, to show your support this month. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a wet paper towel and wipe up the edges, make everything nice and beautiful again. I'm going to go right up to the edge of my cake with that wet paper towel, wipe off any extraneous blobs of icing. I didn't expect my parents to change either, nor did I really need them to. It would have been nice if they did, but it's not required. I only really care about myself. They are entitled to feel however they want, whether I agree or not. Oh, Kelly Cat, you flatter me. I actually want to go one more time around to smooth out the crease between the edges and the top. A little seam right here. It's looking quite nice, but I want to make it nice and smooth. And then again over here. All right, now I'm gonna take my leftover icing, whatever there is left actually. I'm gonna load it up into my pastry bag. I'm gonna cut my hand around it. Mr. Perfect, make it more perfect. It's not, like this camera is super flattering. I should take selfies with this camera. This camera is super flattering. There are little seams and dots and stuff you can't really see. But I can. I've made better cakes than this, but wasn't really planning on making a cake for this. So I think it's pretty good. Kind of squeezing and splooshing. Get all that cream in there, kind of shove it in. Shove it in the hole like that. Sploosh, kasploosh, kasploosh. You really want cake? Come over and have cake then, Kelly Cat, in the words of Selena Gomez. When you're ready, come and get it. Na 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 na, na 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 na. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pipe out some like rosettes. All the way around, I'm gonna start. A good way to make sure you, ha you have an even number of rosettes to do, or really anything on the cake. Just do them on the opposite ends of each other. And then continue to go on the opposite end. And then again in the middle. Then again in the middle. Then again in the middle. And again in the middle. And they'll be a bit more even that way. And then again in the middle. 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 My hamster just woke up. That's going to be a very long night. Can you make five, four or five more cakes, please? <laughs> I'm sorry about your hamster. Pets can be quite a hassle. This is why I have fish. They don't wake me up in the middle of the night. Most of the time. And the last one. Now I've got myself about like 16 rosettes. And now what I'm going to do 
is laying You have a doggy now? Ooh, I don't envy you at all. You are going to have to deal with lots of stuff. I'm sure you've known by now that doggies are loud and they go bork bork. I'm going to just gently decorate my cake in sections with my candy. I might need some more purples. A little bit more of everything, actually. You're just sprinkling the candy on. The nice part about this icing is that it's pretty forgiving. It's firm, so you can kind of mess with stuff. And now the yellows, the lellos, and then to fill in this last gap, because there is no blue, I'm just going to add some more purples and some more greens, kind of fill in this little central bit. So let's see, need some more of these. Some more greens. I need some more popos. I'm dropping them all over the place. And in the middle, I'll hit it. Oh, <gasps> shh! Stick the little fidget spinner in it. Okay, I'm gonna make a little thing in the middle. Where's my spidget finner? I actually want to take a picture of it without the spidget finner in it. And then, ah, I stuck my finger in the K. Ah! Ha! Ah! Don't panic, don't panic, don't panic, don't panic, don't panic. There we go. No one will ever know. Fidget spinner. Mix, how do you like my cake? Ta-da! Yeah, this is my fidget spinner. This is my fidget spinner. With the remaining icing, maybe I can pipe out a little bit more. I'm going to go around and put some little stars all over the edge of the cake just around the base. This also, stars around the edge of the base are like rosettes or whatever you want to put, like that. I'll show you what I mean in a second. Helps cover up any sins where you don't, can't quite get the cake and the board together. It covers up mistakes really well and looks very pretty. Another little tip from Bakington, helps make your cake look a bit prettier. What happened to the marble? It's on the inside, kitty. Beauty is on the inside and the outside. My favorite fusion? I wish Stars was a real fusion. You, they got me so upset when they like stuck Lars's head into uh, Lar Steven's foot into Lars's head, and I was like, oh, they're gonna fuse, they're gonna fuse, they're gonna fuse, and no. Stars never happened.
I want to see more sardonyx and more sugalite. Sugalite's a criminally underused fusion. There we go. Mm. Look at my beautiful cake. Does it cover holes for fingers? Yes. You hope who becomes human again? Lars? Sugalites, Nicki Minaj, that's what I mean. I want Nicki Minaj to come back. I love Nicki Minaj. I want her to I want her to fuse and fight Yellow Diamond so Yellow Diamond can feel her super base. I'm gonna give just tap my icing, kind of smooth it down, make it nice and smooth, because it might be a little bit jagged. The warmth of my hand is going to melt the icing, help form it a little bit better. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. It's a little bit lopsided, but that's okay. If you look at it from this angle, it looks quite cute. We need more pad paracha. Um, yes, we need, that's just like saying we need more bees. It's, a, it's always a necessity, more pad paracha. Now, I'm going to take it over here. I don't know if you guys can keep hearing me, but I'm going to put it over here so I can take some snappy snappies of my obligatory pride cake. Hopefully, the LGBT council is satisfied with this and they don't revoke my membership. I don't really feel like... Oops. I accidentally turned the other lights on. I have too many lights in this house. You people have too much money. You don't like Caterpillar, Grandma? <sighs> Pet Paracha is definitely my favorite. And the only one I genuinely care about. I'm gonna get some snappy snappy, some artful snaps first. Some ratchet snaps. You know, my cake's gonna like bend over wearing leggings and stuff. That'll get a lot of likes on Instagram. Ew, I hate that one. That came out super, super wavy. Um... Tell me something funny. There we go. Now an aerial shot. Ah, 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 wrong camera. That'll do. Now then. Who is ready to eat cake? I know, I, ah, ah, I stuck my finger in it again. Ugh, I need to stop doing that. Here we go, we're back. The cake came back mostly okay. The twins and the Pearl and Ruby mix. Oh, you guys. Okay, there was a weird conspiracy theory going around that considering that the, the Ruby, the Ruby in, uh, although I don't believe it, the Ruby in uh, Road Knight, the Ruby, Ruby Pearl Fusion, 
was uh, had a had a ruby had the ruby in its navel, its its like belly button area, and people are saying that the ruby in in Rodenite is Navy, the one who stole the ship. Bad person, angry face. I'm sorry. Get ready, everyone. We're gonna have some cake carnage in a second. Oh, I'm too scared. It's too beautiful. I don't want to cut it though, but I have to. It's my duty. <laughs> duty. Got a nice white plate. Ooh, here we go. I've made it. I did it. Uh. Here we go. Ta da. Ta-da! Looks a bit more like a modern art piece than a piece of cake. Let me show you better with this camera. Ta-da! Look at that. That's the rainbow. It's got the red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. I just wish that purple were nicer. Oh well, it's still going to taste delicious. Who's ready for pride cake? I know I am. Get a piece of that. Mmm. 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 -mm. It's so soft and light. It's moist, not too sweet. Mm. Mm. Do you need the plas plastiline cake? Is that like plasticine? Anyway, it's so beautiful and tasty. I would say this though, the Skittles, mm. these Skittles really do not go at all. It's like sweet and light and creamy and cakey and then bam, tart sweetness. Here, have some. Try it yourself. Mm. Look at that though. You figure they wouldn't go? They don't. You're right, Kitty. Gold stars for you. Mm. Mm. I'm gonna. Don't mind me. I'm picking the skittles off. They're good on their own, just not in the sweet vanilla, creamy cake. Mm. Plasticine. Oh. I thought plastiline was like the new version of plasticine. I was like, there's a new thing? I better, I need to get back in claymation. Mm. Oh boy, this is yummy. Mm. It's soft and fluffy. This icing is perfectly stiff. Mm. 
does exactly what I need it to. See how stiff it is? How it holds up so well to all that piping? Mm. You heard it first here, folks, on the Bakington Show. So if you ever see someone doubt that I can cook, send them this VOD. Also, speaking of which, I'm going to start broadcasting uh, my VODs on the days I'm not streaming. So that way there's always baking in content for you. I'm going to download some of my nicest VODs and keep them up for now. So like um, on Tuesdays and on Wednesday, on Tuesdays and next week, Friday, and then Saturday, and then I won't do anything Sunday mm. for y'all. This frosting, though, really good. Mm. Who boy. Now, if you'll excuse me, I got a bunch of washing up to do. As Chef John Reed says, I, I, watch, I like watching his stream. He just got married, too. Not married, engaged. Congratulations to him. But... For ultra pride. There's pride and then there's ultra pride. Where you're like literally like you can like you know like that filter on Snapchat? Where it's like the rainbow coming in your mouth? That's ultra pride. What did I move my robot? I didn't. The hell? He was over there last time, right? Mm. Okay. Keep an eye out for that next time. Ugh. I think he's alive. And just doesn't want to tell me. Freaking Toy Story style. The robot moved itself, yeah. Hmm. But I hope you had fun making this cake with me. Hmm. If you like my stream, you should click on that follow button, drop me a tip in my tip jar. If you like my stream as well, you should check out some of my social medias. My Tumblr, Twitter, and YouTube channels are all down below. So is my Instagram, just not up yet, up there yet. Instagram, at Lord Bakington. Uh, Twitter, at Lord Bakington. YouTube, Lord Bakington. Uh, Tumblr, lordbakington.tumblr.com. I post all my recipes up here. This one is on there, a little bit farther down, but in there. And then, if you like my stream, you should totally check back Monday of next week, 4 p.m. Pacific. And if you liked my stream and you want to see a recipe made, tweet me at Lord Bakington. Uh, give me some recipe ideas. And if you want Bakington points and you want to get a shout out on the Bakington show, you should totally uh, see the pinned tweet on my Twitter page and suggest to me a uh, item to use in my Bakington uh, monthly challenge video uh, stream. So it's gonna be like a chop type stream where I have to put together a bunch of random foods and make a cohesive meal out of them. Mm. I need more proteins. So if you have any protein ideas, let me know. Um, I know some people already, uh, already said something. You can submit multiple ideas. Okay? So with that, I will see you guys Monday again. Check out all my social medias for pictures up in a minute. And I will see you guys Monday, 4 p.m. Pacific, same time, same Bakington place for another rockin' week. All right? Peace. I lost my mouse. Peace. Found it.